Oggs, thanks for joining us, mate. It's good to have you back in the fold yep. after being at Dartford. How's it feel to be back? Yeah, it feels unreal just to be back playing that plough lane in front of our fans and also playing for the first thing we're going to do is unreal. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, the stadium was rocking on Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it like in the dressing room afterwards? Yeah, great. I think the lads enjoyed that one. I think we've had a, as everyone knows, we've had a tough time, a tough run of games. And I think just to get that win the other day, I think it was great for us and especially give the fans something to cheer about as well. Yeah, so I just wanted to get a bit of background on yourself. Obviously, you were at Brentford and then the academy sort of suddenly shut down. Can you sort of describe your feelings of when that happened? Yeah, it was a tough time, I think. That mentally back then, when you're young, getting obviously released before it got shut down and then obviously taking that and then going to other clubs, I think it's a tough time, I think. Especially back then, you're not really mentally ready for that, especially when in school you're kind of seen as like the boy who plays your academy and then getting released is quite tough. So, yeah, but it's got me where I am now today, that, that fight that I've always had. So, yeah, it's happened for a reason. How close do you actually like come to giving up football together? I know you said you had what two two years out of in and out. Of yeah, sort of yeah. I was, close? I was, wasn't really. I would never give up football. I think it was just, I was more then just playing with my friends, like trying to get back to enjoying it again. And then um, when I felt like back in love with it again, I then started to obviously try a bit harder, enjoy a bit more, and then obviously my game started to improve as well. So it's never a case of oh, I might think about a different career path. No, nah, never, never. It was always football. I'd never, can't imagine myself in anything else. Yeah, so you had a few unsuccessful trials with some clubs. What clubs were they and, and what did those experiences teach you? Um, so I went to Watford, Barnet and Leighton Orient and I think the main outcome from that was that they said I had to be a bit more physical, go play some more football at uh, age above. So then I went to um, Hazen Eden under 18s where I was playing like two years above and in midfield in a different position, position as well. So it improved my game technically and also a bit more physical and that aggressiveness started to come into my game of like playing against older boys, bigger boys. So I think getting released from those academies or getting told not that I wasn't good enough was more like motivation for me to go and then prove myself again. Yeah, and then how did you sort of keep yourself ticking over after leaving Brentford? Was it a case of just playing I don't know, Sunday League football, five a side or whatever, anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I was just I was just playing with friends and I joined my local team of a bunch of um, friends that I used to play with when I was younger. I think just there, uh, I think those times were good as well, but obviously you want to play at a higher level, you want to go push yourself more, so yeah. Yeah, and um, were you always a defender? Um, well, when I went to Hazen and then under 18s, I played at CDM, but when I was young, I was always a defender, I loved defending. Um, yourself, Kwaku, Luke, Dav and Dylan all, have all featured for the first team this season. How much does it mean to you to come this far with them together? I think, especially playing with Luke, Dylan and Quakes a lot for 18s, they're my age group, I think it's great to see us all involved. I think we've all been planning to get to this point, especially last year, all of us going out on loan, getting that men's experience and also this year as well, I think has benefited us massively to now be where we are now because we're coming to men's football. We know what it's like, we haven't been in a 23 system where we're playing against our own age, but we've been playing against men and we've been dealing with that every single week. So I think that's prepped us to be who we are now. And then, is there many players that sort of inspired your football career, whether it be, you know, stars of the Premier League or anyone like that, or is there anyone inside the club now that you looked up to when you were younger? I think there's not necessarily Stars, obviously, you have the defenders you look at, like the Reese Jameses, like the Trents, like you look at them. But I think more like in the club now, especially the seniors, uh, they've been great to all of us, like young lads, especially like the defenders, like Guns, Piercy. They're always, they're always there for us. We can always go to them and speak to them when we want to. So it's not like the boys are separate here, like seniors and youngsters, it's everyone's together. And I think having, especially like Guns and Piercy, where they played at the highest levels. It's good to learn from them, so yeah. And then just lastly, um, I saw a nice moment, I think it's a Crawley game, you were on the bench when you went to warm up, the fans gave you a nice applause. What's your relationship like with them? How have you found getting to know them and, and having that support behind you? I think the fans have been unreal to me all year, I think. Especially as a young lad coming from the academy, I think the fans always make us settle in well, especially playing 
like your first game at home. I think the fans always make you feel welcome, always make you feel like you're having the best game of your life. They're always on the back, like on the, on your back. So I think they've been great to me all season, and I couldn't ask for anything better than them. Oaks, wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank you.